Today I'd like to show you how to use our coupon widget. Just like any other widget, coupons can be added to any mobile site. They can be dragged up and down. They can be customized with different colors and fonts and things like that. So let's start by adding a coupon. So we have a page here with an image widget already added and we'll add a coupon to the page. Let's start by creating a new coupon. Let's make the header text say $15 off your first visit. We can upload an image. We already have an image in our image library I'm going to select. You can optionally generate and upload a barcode image. That image would need to be generated outside of our system. Here you have on the right sharing options as well as options to email the offer to themselves or save it to their device. Coupon start date and expiration date. You can schedule the start date to a future date in which date the coupon is not going to be displayed for visitors until that date. And of course the expiration date if it's set uh, after that point in time uh, you will not be able to see the coupon Under offer description, let's enter some text there. Uh, for instance, with a purchase of, you know, you could set it to a purchase price, offer descriptions, terms and conditions. These are displayed as instructions or fields as part of the coupon. You can customize it with any text, colors, or, or styling you want. And now redemption settings. Let's talk about redemption locations. Multiple redemption co locations could be assigned per coupon. And the way these locations are used is in the following two cases. First, if this coupon belongs to a listing that is part of a mobile directory, then the search for the mobile directory, when visitors search for coupons, within a certain you know radius of miles or kilometers it will show the locations that are assigned to that coupon and base the search results accordingly so that's one way that redemption locations can be used the other way redemption locations can be used in a coupon is here you have a field for require store number or coupon code validation so if you check this box you can basically have your visitors or customers enter a code that either they or a store clerk would need to validate for the coupon. So when you check this box in redemption locations, you can go to fields for store number. So the value that your customers would type in when they redeem the coupon code would need to match one of these store numbers and so that the location can be assigned to that particular coupon when it's redeemed. So here you can add new locations of course but what we're going to do is select our two locations that we already have assigned to that particular vendor and then we'll make that the validation code for the coupon. So under display redeem button you have different uh, display options. You can display it once per customer, multiple times per customer, or don't display the redemption at all. So if you want to have that level of validation you need to choose one of the options where that validation is displayed. If you choose once, then the next time, they, if they tried to redeem that offer again, uh, they won't be able to do that. It'll, it'll display text that says, you could only d display this coupon once. So The information about the redemption is saved with a cookie on the customer's phone. So if they clear out the cookies or use a different device, then the same customer could possibly redeem that coupon again. 
So that, that part of the information is lost. So check this box, require store number, coupon code validation. You can change the field label. Let's just call that uh, field coupon code. Also, you can request additional information from your customers when they redeem the coupon. For instance, if you'd like to have them fill out an email address or a membership number, you can specify those fields here. So let's add an email address field and make it required. The message displayed after the coupon is redeemed, that is a customizable message. You know, pretty much WYSIWYG. You can change your text, fonts, colors, uh, put an image in there if you like. Coupon save, then make sure this coupon is selected and save the page. Then when we go to preview it here, uh, you see the coupon appear below the header. So here's our coupon. When we click on that, you can see the uh, location and then redeem this offer. And here's the redemption section of the coupon that shows coupon code. I can't uh, redeem the coupon in this preview window, so I'll need to open it in a browser to really test it out. So when I view this page in the regular browser, I can see the redeem this offer is active. Let's enter the coupon code. Uh, 111 matches the store number of one of our locations assigned to this coupon. Enter the email address in here. Hit redeem. And now you see the message offer successfully redeemed. So if I refresh this browser now, it shows me that this offer has already been redeemed because our coupon was set to redeem once in the coupon section here. Display redeem button once per customer. Also, you can see here the redemption is recorded. I click on it. I can see all the information about that redemption in this report, and I have the ability to export that into an Excel file. So let's change the coupon a little bit and set the redemption options to display no redeem button now. Click on save and look in the preview. There's no redemption section at all. So this coupon is displayed only and of course when you use this option that basically means uh, there's no there's no coupon redemption recorded in our stats, so this would only be used if you wanted a general offer.